All right, so let's try a more general system. Consider the system y prime is y1 plus y2, y2 prime is 4y1 minus 2y2. All right, so I'm going to start by writing this linear system as a matrix equation, and then I want to find p and d to diagonalize a. So here I say a equals p, d, p inverse, or usually what we write is d is p, a, p inverse. Both are fine. All right, so I have y equals y1, y2, and so y prime is y1 prime, y2 prime, and that's one y1 plus y2 for y1 um, minus 2y2, and now I can split it as a product of matrices. And so I have 1 plus 1, and then 4y1 minus 2. And so my matrix A is 1, 1, 4, minus 2. All right. I need to diagonalize that matrix A, so I need um, to find eigen an eigenbasis of A. So let's find the characteristic polynomial of A. That's going to be 1 minus x, 1, 4, minus 2, minus x. I'm going to compute this determinant. I will get 1 minus x, minus 2, minus x, minus 4. That's x squared plus 2x minus 1, so plus x. And then um, minus 2 minus 4 minus 6. All right, so that's x plus 3, x minus 2. So I have two eigenvalues. I have um, minus 3. Actually, I have the opposite in my notes. Let me follow my notes. So we could use maybe a shortcut later on. So 2 and minus 3. All right, so let's find what we have at 2. Um, so we're looking for a minus 2i. That's going to be minus 1, 1, 4, minus 4. I reduce, I get 1 minus 1, 0, 0. So this is S. I get x, y, x is S, y is S as well. So that's 1, 1. All right, so my first. vector from my basis will be 1, 1. All right, let's try minus 3. I get a plus 3i. That's going to be 4, 1, 4, 1. Good, it looks redundant. I get 1, 1, 4, 0, 0. Um, if I get s, here, I'm going to get x, y, which is um, minus a fourth, 1, s. And so at s equals, let me take, I'll take 4. I'll get that p, 2, is minus 1. All right, so what we have is we have P, which is 1, 1, minus 1, 4. And I have D, which is, um, that's the eigenvalues on the diagonal, so 2, 0, 0, minus 3. Minus one, four. Let's just check something. That seems right. All right. 
So I want to show that u, which is p inverse y, is a solution for a different linear system. is a is a solution for this linear system where the matrix is actually d. All right. So let's see what I get. Um, I want to take u, which is um, p inverse of y, and now I want to look at what happens when I take du. All right. So d is p inverse ap and so i get p inverse ap times p inverse y all right so the p and the p inverse right here will cancel and so i get p inverse a y and now we're assuming that y is a solution for the system so we're assuming that y um, um, is a solution for this. So a y is equal to y prime. So we get p inverse y prime. But if I differentiate u, that's p inverse y. The only t's I have in this are in t. In fact, I mean, if I want, I could actually write it like this. P is just a matrix doesn't have any t in it so when i take the derivative i would bring p inverse to the front and i'll have y prime all right so these two are equal and so yes so y is a solution to y prime equals um, what was it? A y, if and only if u, which is p inverse of y, is a solution to u prime equals d u. All right, so what's nice? This is a complicated system with a complicated matrix. This is a simple system because d is just a diagonal matrix. So we can solve this system using the proposition. But once you know u, getting back to y is easy. All I have to do is multiply by p. All right, so let's solve for u. So we have u1, u2 prime equals d. So that's 2, 0, 0, minus 3 times u1, u2. And so I get that u1 prime is 2u1, which means that u1 is c1 e to the 2t. And u2 prime is minus 3u2. And so u2 is c2 e to the minus 3t. All right, perfect. So u is c1 e to the 2t, um, c2 e to the minus 3t. All right, let's solve for y. So we have u equals p inverse of y, which means that y is p of u. Um, p we have right here. So p was 1 minus 1, 1, 4, and u is c1 e to the 2t, c2 e to the minus 3t. And then all I have to do is multiply this. So I'm going to get um, c1 e to the 2t minus c2 e to the minus 3t. That's what happens when I multiply this um, row by this column, and then I'm going to multiply this row by the only column again, c1 e to the 2t plus 4 c2 e to the minus 3t. All right, so that's the solution for the complicated linear system. All we had to do was diagonalize the coefficient matrix. All right, so I want to check that um, this y fits the equation of the given linear system. So let's go back and check what the linear system was. 
right? So I need to check that y1 prime is y1 plus y2. Let's check that. I'm sorry y1 prime is the derivative of c t minus c2 e to the minus 3t so that's 2 c1 e to the 2t plus 3 c2 e to the minus 3t now if i add the 2 i'm going to get c1 e to the 2t minus c2 e to the minus 3t that's y1 plus c1 e to the 2t plus 4c2 e to the minus 3t. Um, so I do get 2c1 e to the 2t plus 3c2 um, yep, e to the minus 3t. And so it matches. Oh, bad. That's the first equation. Let's check the second one quickly. Second one was y2 prime is four. All right, so y2 prime, let me do it a bit more sh shortly. So y2 prime, the derivative of the second one is two c1 e to the two t uh, minus 12 c2 e to the minus three t. And I wanna compare this to uh, four minus two. So I'm gonna compare this to four y1 minus 2y2. So 4y1, so that gives me 4c1 minus 2c1. That works. And then 4, so that minus 4c2 plus 8. Minus 8, sorry. Minus 8c2 e to the minus 3t. And so these are equal. And so we did find solutions. All right, so let's recap this method. For solving a linear system of linear equation, I write the linear system of differential equation in matrix form as y prime equals a y. And then I'm going to diagonalize A. I want to find an invertible matrix and a diagonal matrix D so that A is um, what is it in that direction? A is P D P inverse or D is P A P inverse. And I solve for U using the linear system U prime is D U. And so that's going to be used the proposition. And then I solve for Y, so Y is P U. Just a note. This is going to be more important if you have a bigger system, but you don't need P inverse, right? You sort of need it here, but you never use it. You can solve for D uh, for U without it, and here you only use P. And so all you need is P and D. You don't actually need P inverse.